For some people, the sky's the limit, but for the amazing pilots in this video, the sky is just the starting point. This plane's clearly forgotten something essential, like a pilot. No, this is part of an air show where a talented stunt pilot pretends to be a drunk guy who's stolen a plane. Believable though, isn't it? The Airbus A380 and its unbelievable vertical takeoff. Perfect example of why planes don't tend to fly or land in harsh weather conditions. Planes don't get any closer than this. Well, not without protection. When a flight doesn't go according to plan, a pilot needs to know how to get out of a sticky situation. And this instructor is demonstrating one of the stickiest. Okay, coming up to four and a half. Yeah. So hands on the dash. Hands on the dash. Opposite rudder. Opposite push that rudder. Push that rudder. Push it. Push. 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 There you go. Now grab the stick. Grab pull the out stick. the dive. Hell. This F-16 pilot clearly doesn't have much time for plane spot. Here's an extreme way to prune your trees. On this road, you need to look left, right, and up before crossing. If anyone invites you to have a picnic in this location, please refuse. Perfect formation, and one who was slightly late to the party. When you realize that one of your flock is looking a little bigger than usual. This 747 super tanker really makes a difference when it comes to firefighting because it holds up to 19,000 gallons of fire retardant. When your rotor blades are this close to power lines, you need to be one extremely steady pilot. That's what happens when you travel on a budget airline these days. You don't even get a seat. Yeah, it might just be a little too wet to go flying today. This is aerobatics and it's completely and utterly insane. Just because a trained Marine can deal with that wind doesn't mean you can. This is the Russian amphibious bereave B-200 Altair aircraft, and this is its impressive water-based takeoff.
This low pass was so low that these unfortunate pilots were grounded because of it. Is this a chemtrail? Display smoke for an air show or a plane with very bad flatulence? This is Argentina's presidential Boeing 757, and this is apparently called a wing salute. Hmm, they might want to move the fat passengers to the center of this aircraft. An SR-71 Blackbird departs Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas and decides to break the sound barrier on the way. You're never too high or fast to show off for the camera. An impressive bit of flying from an equally impressive camera angle. Someone really hasn't been obeying the no smoking signs on this plane. If you're not mechanically minded, then magic seems like a good explanation of how planes fly. Imagine if planes actually felt like they were moving this fast. Not many pilots can fly like the Blue Angels. Some beautiful footage of an Air Force Heritage flight at the Pacific Air Show. Landing on a mountain with one wheel? Leave it to this UH-60 Blackhawk crew from the Colorado National Guard. Not a perfect landing, and somebody really needs to fix that door. Mind you, it was an emergency landing, so I think we can cut the pilot some slack. Who would have thought that vapor trails could be this beautiful? This is what the Airbus A380 looks like from a Boeing 747. How often do you see a plane getting a lift from a helicopter? Cars getting lifts from helicopters, on the other hand, is just a normal everyday occurrence. Not. But a house in this street, there's minimal pollution and it's really, really quiet. Nothing can pull off a high-speed climb quite like an F-35. Maybe Top Gun wasn't that far-fetched after all. The screaming engines of a B-52 Strato Fortress. Just one of the benefits of living next to an Air Force base. 
A rocket launch is always an impressive sight, but this one is viewed from a very rare angle. How much weight can a MIL Mi-26 helicopter carry? This much. We're gonna go out on a limb and say that this plane may be from Japan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, synchronized pollution! Takeoff of the AV-88 Harrier, taking from its natural home, an aircraft carrier. No visibility, no problem. This is a bit more intense than puppy training. No puppy has ever had to jump out of a helicopter. Here's a pilot's POV of the Red Bull Air Race in Abu Dhabi. Fasten your seatbelt. Aerobatics and pyrotechnics can be an incredible combination. There are bumpy landings, and then there's whatever in the world this is. Yes, it's everyone's favorite show, Extreme Gardening. This is called the Tornado Maneuver and performed by the world-famous Red Arrows. Yes, it's not only carrying two Humvees, it's also refueling at the same time. Now, that's a helicopter. Stunt flying or crashing with style? Water and gravity, both not behaving like they're supposed to. You're not likely to get seasick in a plane, unless you happen to be in this one. If you saw this while walking over a bridge, you really would be doubting your own sanity. You've probably seen one of these landing on the water, but here's how they take off. One of those road hazards you don't usually need to look out for. This plane seems to be powered by soft-serve ice cream. How 
to make everyone who lives in an apartment scream at exactly the same time. Oh, you got the bank. Yeah, 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 we get it. You know how to land a helicopter. Impressive, though. Especially the way he spins around like a 1980s Michael Jackson. The creepy thing about fog is that anything could suddenly pop out of it. I'm sure you've always wondered what it looks like when you're in a helicopter crashing into the sea. Well, this is your lucky day. Why is it landing in the middle of a road? Because it's an ambulance helicopter. And this one is specifically deployed for large accidents involving four or more people. the F-18 Super Hornet, just casually doing a simple backflip. Apparently, this is where naval officers light their cigarettes. If they want to have any luck with that space shuttle, then they might need to fly a tiny bit higher. An emergency landing from the POV of the plane itself. Why should roads only be reserved for vehicles with wheels? A frozen landscape featuring some pretty hot flying. Here's the Airbus A380 again, this time escorted by Bulgarian Air Force MIG 29s. Apparently, Flares can be even more attention-grabbing than we thought. Even military helicopters enjoy a nice beach holiday. How to go water skiing without skis? All you need is a light aircraft. Don't worry, I promise the pilot actually meant to do this. No weather is too unpleasant for a dedicated plane watcher. Is it, is it a ghost plane? Uh, hopefully not, but even so, it must be equally terrifying to land in fog as thick as this. It's like four planes have become one. We've seen planes in the water, so how about a boat in the air? Did you ever wonder how they construct those huge electricity pylons? Well, now you know.
Proof that you can use tape to fix everything. Yes, it's a cargo helicopter accidentally dropping its cargo. Whoops. Not every helicopter pilot manages to pull off a perfect landing. The impressive sight of the Eurofighter Tycoon, narrowly missing that fence. An engine failure over a mountain range? No thanks, I'll walk next time. All right, I've, uh, I've got a spot in mind there where maybe it's more sand than it is rocks. Like, you see all these big rocks here? Yeah. That's not gonna end very well for us, so. Um, I think our only shot is on the left side of that beach right there. Yes, I agree. You see in the corner that it looks like there's more sand there? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, so I'm getting a little bit of that speed back again. Lower RPMs. Okay. And we're coming in. All right, this is gonna work just perfectly right here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna be okay. Woo! Wait, 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 wait. Is that plane standing still? Did somebody just spike my coffee? The amazing Blue Angels, from the Blue Angels perspective. We all have our own ways of unwinding over the weekend. The lowest landing ever? Very possibly. Stalling in a car isn't half as terrifying as this. Mountain Rescue, doing exactly what it says on the tin. The aviation equivalent of doing donuts in a local car park. When a stunt plane meets a stunt bike. Anybody know what this crazy maneuver is called? Let us know in the comments. Here's the Blue Angels again, doing what they do best. Some more amazing helicopter landing skills, even if the helicopter does appear to be slightly drunk at first. Mid-air refueling, bringing an entire gas station 30,000 feet in the skies. You don't want Retrocast to stall mid-flight and drop out of the sky, do you? Help us keep airborne by clicking subscribe.